Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in and if you are new or just stumbling across this video, hello, my name is Katrina, thank you for watching. Today we are going to be testing out a TikTok makeup hack. I've seen a lot of people doing it recently and I really wanted to test it out for myself. So basically it's like a preparation for your makeup that is supposed to stop you from um, shining, sweating, creasing, all that sort of stuff and it's meant to just give you the most flawless finish ever. So I thought, well, we love a flawless finish so let's give it a go. Before I get into the video though, please head down below and give this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell for notifications for every time that I post. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now what you're going to need is a moisturizer. So I've got the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion because my skin is super sensitive. You'll also need a translucent powder. I'm just using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade Light or 1. You'll also need a finishing spray, so I've got the MAC Fix Plus, just the original one. And then you're also going to need a primer. Now, I never ever use a primer. Um, I usually use skincare and then put my makeup on, but um, for this purpose I'm going to use the only primer that I have. I have used this a few times in the past and it's actually, it's only a sample one actually, it's a MAC Strobe Cream and I have like none of it left actually because I got it like years ago. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to use this because it's literally the only primer that I have in my collection and I don't know if it's actually even a primer to be honest but I have used it as a primer in the past and I did like it so um, that's what we're gonna go with. So first up I'm going to pop some moisturizer on my face. You can use any moisturizer you like. I just use this one because my skin likes it and it's also not fragranced so that's good, it doesn't set off any hay fever or anything, and it's really good for both your face and your body, so two in one, I say. Next up, you're going to want to take your translucent powder and just tap that on your face. They say not to use a lot of it, so I'm just going to lightly tap this over the moisturizer. It feels really strange, but just go on with it. Also, if you're on TikTok, uh, make sure you follow me. I'm at Katrina.West and I am obsessed with TikTok. I will just put that out there. I am obsessed with it now. I like woke up this morning excited because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna create TikToks today. I mean, I had work and stuff to do as well and I have done a lot of other stuff other than just TikTok, but I'm trying to like keep my afternoons free to be able to like film TikToks. Like, I'm not even kidding, I'm actually filming TikTok videos in between this YouTube video because like I love doing the before and after makeup ones, I think they're so cool and I'm actually doing um, a modern day Disney character um, little challenge on my page so I'm also going to do my makeup like that once I finish this base so make sure you head over to TikTok and follow me at Katrina.West to see how the makeup looks with the outfit. I won't tell you which character I'm doing but pretty excited about it. Okay so next up you're going to want to take your finishing spray and you want to set down this translucent powder <sighs> and then we'll let that dry. I don't know if you guys can tell but I've literally had three coffees today. Like I managed to skip breakfast because I had my first coffee and it just didn't feel like enough so then I was like oh, I'll just make myself another coffee and then because I had two coffees I was really full because you know how coffee just fills you up so I had two coffees and then I felt really full so I was like okay well I don't need breakfast because I'm pretty full which is bad and I should have had breakfast and then my mother asked me to come into the office so I went down to the office and she was like let's get a coffee and I was like why not? I don't know, I'm feeling on fire. Okay, so I think this is dry now. Um, next we're gonna head in with a primer. So I'm gonna try and get what I can out of this little stroke cream. But if you guys have any um, recommendations, yes, I got about that much out, that's awesome. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on good primers, my skin is sensitive and it's kind of like dry and oily so it's like combination skin I get quite oily 
around my nose and my chin and my, like my T-zone and then everywhere else gets really dry. Although also the tip of my nose gets really dry and at the moment my lips are really dry and yet I seem to be having a reaction to any lip balm or ointment or whatever that I use on my lips. So <laughs> I'm not doing too well at the moment. My skin is just really, really sensitive. Okie dokie. So once that is rubbed in, you want to go ahead with your foundation. So I'm just going to be using the Mecca Max Selfie Skin 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is hands down my favourite foundation ever. It is only 28 Australian dollars from Mecca and it is so full coverage because it's like a foundation and a concealer in one. They have heaps of shades. I've got this in a lighter shade as well so that when I don't have a spray tan on I can use that and then in between my spray tans um, I can actually mix the two shades together and create whatever shade I am that day. Um, so yeah, this one's MW7 Sunshine. It's a beautiful shade. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then I'm going to apply the rest of my face and we'll see how it looks in the end. Okie dokie, so I have done the rest of my makeup. Take a guess at who I'm going to be. I haven't gotten dressed yet, but I've done my hair, done my makeup. Now, the results are in. It works. I don't really have any creasing except for under this eye. This eye here got a little bit of creasing, um, but this one was all right. Normally my um, forehead gets really bad wrinkle lines because whenever I do my makeup and stuff, I'm always like eyebrows raised. But I think it's done a pretty good job of preventing those crease lines. I They're really, really faint. Um, so I really like that because I hate the fact that I always get crease lines. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm not really looking very oily or anything. The only like shine I've got is from my highlighter. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. It's pretty mattified. It's, um, I'm definitely sweating because it's really hot at the moment. Like you wouldn't believe that we're in autumn. So I'm really sweaty here on my chin and also like around here, like I always get really sweaty around my mouth, um, but it's all staying pretty set, I think. It looks pretty mattified, so I'm not too worried about that. I, I think it actually worked. I am pretty impressed by it. I think, yeah, this is the only part that I'm a little upset by, but maybe I just didn't put enough like primer there or something, so or enough translucent powder originally. So after I put my foundation on, I just set it down with translucent powder. I also put um, a contour stick on and concealer before I set it down. So that was like my full base and I am pretty impressed. I would definitely recommend you try it, especially if you're like me and you don't usually like prepare or like prime your skin properly before putting makeup on. Um, I feel like this is going to be my new go-to, like this is going to be my new prep routine before I start putting makeup on. And uh, yeah, I'm really keen to see how it goes for the next, you know, tw oh, well not 24 hours, I'm not going to keep it on for that long, but you know, for the next few hours. And yeah, I definitely recommend that you try it. So thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you comment any other videos or hacks or something that you'd like me to see or test out for you. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the bell for notifications every time that I post. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Katrina J West and on TikTok at Katrina.West. So thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!